Hi friends, please subscribe to my channel for more technology videos. In this video, let's talk about how to export data into Excel file from SQL Server. Let me show you what is the table which I am planning to export first. So if you see my window here, I have a table with a name of a customer. So customer is a table name which contains three columns and five rows. So the customer ID, customer name and balance. So which are of having data respectively. It looks like this. This is my table which I am planning to export into the Excel sheet. Now let's go to the Excel. So where I am planning to export. So this is my file. So which I am planning to export. So this is my empty file which I am planning to export. Let me close this and let's come to the SQL Server. So let's right click on the database. So go to task under the task you have an export option export data. So that is the export data is the one which will help us to export the data from SQL Server to any other places. I mean any other place in the sense I can export from SQL Server to SQL Server. I can export from SQL Server to Notepad. I can export from SQL Server to Excel. Let's this is the information wizard window. Let's click on next. Once you click on next there is a source window. So where it will show you the source server and source database information. My source server is a uh, dot slash equal 2012 database name is sample. Click on next and this is a destination. So to where you want to move as of now my requirement is to move into the Excel. Let's select that particular Excel. So Microsoft Excel. So once you select a Microsoft Excel it asks for the file path. So browse it. So yeah this is the file now export data dot XLX and click on next. So once you click on next it will ask you do you want to uh, directly move data from table to Excel or do you want to write a customized query. You can write a customized query as well in this window but I want to go with a table direct table. Let's click on next and this is a place where you need to select the table names. If you want to move multiple tables you can select here. If you want to move only single table let's select that particular table name and click on next. So once you click on next it will show you the mapping and all. Okay, don't worry let's click on next. So once you click on next it will ask you do you want to run immediately or do you want to save this as a package. Yes if you are the first timer you can save this as a package. It means that it automatically creates a SSI package for you. But for time being I want to run immediately. Let's select only that option and click on next. So once you click on next it will give you some summary information what it's trying to do it. Once you are okay with that if you want to observe you can you can just have a look. And once you are done with that, let's click on finish. So once you click on finish, it runs the summary and it runs that. Okay. If you have a large number of uh, rows, it will take a while. If you have a only less number of rows, it does not take more than a minute. So here if you see five rows are transferred. Once you are done, let's click on close. So this is how we move the data from SQL Server to the Excel. Let's go to the file now. So if you open the file, so here there is a sheet name used to come with a table name. Let's go to the customer. So this is the place where you will see the data which is moved from SQL Server to the Excel. So that's it. In this video we learned about how to move a data from SQL Server to Excel. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel for more technology videos. Thank you.